Hello, everyone. My name is Owen Gottimer. I am the community manager at TechWell. I'm joined today by Jonathan Kaufman, a senior consultant at Coveras. Jonathan, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you for having me, Owen. So John and I were going to talk about a, a security acronym so we can kind of walk through what it means, how people can use it, and how it differs from some of the other security testing uh, practices that we have. And the one we were going to talk about is SCA. So do you want to talk, Jonathan, about what is SCA and how can it help secure your application? Sure, Owen. So first of all, SCA stands for Software Composition Analysis. And it's a technique where you try to analyze the dependencies that your application includes to make sure that they don't have any known vulnerabilities. In fact, up to 80% of the, the app, uh, components that we include in our applications have some known vulnerability in them, which can expose our applications to risk. So it's important to use an approach like SEA to fully understand what dependencies we have, what issues are with those dependencies, and then how much of a risk those issues present to our application. So that's really the purpose behind SCA and how it helps you make you more secure. Yeah, how can, how does SCA differ from some of the other security testing uh, suites we know like DAST or IAST? Sure, so for DAST and IAST, those are mainly focused on understanding your application and not the code that you are including in your application from third party vendors. So really the, the unique perspective that SCA takes is that it's looking at third party components you include as opposed to scanning your own code. Now scanning your own code is certainly important as I stated earlier, we use so many open source components, so many third party components, that it's just as important, if not more important, to scan those as well. Cool. And if someone wants to get started using SCA, is there a specific uh, way you would go about starting? Sure. So there is a free tool called OWASP Dependency Check. So I would recommend you just start with that and then run it to see what dependencies you have in your application and what vulnerabilities exist. And it just gives you a starting point to see what your risk profile is and what sort of work you might need to do to resolve any security issues. And then if you get used to using that or you find that it's not giving you everything you need, you can use or look into paid tools like Cynotype uh, Lifecycle or Nexus Lifecycle. And those provide other nice features like ID integration where developers can see issues in real time and avoid introducing the vulnerabilities in the first place. So those, is, those are some of the places where I would start. Yeah, when you start using SCA, is this something you typically like to put in at the beginning of a greenfield project? Is it something that you like to that you could put on to a legacy project? Is, is there a, a, an appropriate application um, from where you should enter this? You could use it in either situation, either greenfield or a legacy system. As with many things, it's best, given the agile methodology and the approach of building things in on a continuous basis, it's best if you do it from the beginning because then you will not have any or many vulnerable components. But even if you have a legacy application, you still wanna know what they are and you can still resolve at least the highest risk vulnerabilities to make your application at least a little more secure than it is right now.